Hello! In this video, we are going to solve a problem dealing with the osmotic pressure. Submitted for your approval, 6.85 grams of a covalent solid are dissolved in 100.0 grams of water. The density of the solution is 1.024 grams per milliliter. This solution generates an osmotic pressure of 4.61 atmospheres at a temperature of 20.0 degrees centigrade, which we recall is 293.15 Kelvin. Our objective is to determine the molar mass of this covalent solid. So first we recall that our formula for the osmotic pressure is that the pressure is equal to MRT, where M is the concentration, R is the gas constant, and T is the thermodynamic temperature. Substituting into our equation, we have 4.61 atmospheres, since that is the measured osmotic pressure. We don't know the concentration yet. Our gas constant in this case is 0 0.821 liter atmospheres per Kelvin mole. And our temperature is 293.15 Kelvin. Multiplying two of the terms on the right hand side, we get M times 24.0676 liter atmospheres per mole. Since we notice that the units of Kelvins cancel. And our left side remains 4.61 atmospheres. So in our next step, we are going to divide through each side by 24.676 liter atmospheres per mole to solve for the concentration M. Performing that step, we get that the concentration capital M is 0 0.19154 moles per liter. Next, we want to find the mass of the solution and to do that we add the mass of the solute, which is 6.85 grams, plus the mass of the solvent, which is 100.0 grams, and we get 106.85 grams as the total mass of the solution. We can also use this mass to determine the volume of the solution. So recall that density equals mass divided by volume, and we can rearrange this equation to get that the volume is equal to the mass divided by the density. And a similar way of thinking about this is this is the mass times one over the density. Okay. So the volume of the solution is going to be the mass, which is 106. 0.85 grams. And then we're going to use the reciprocal of the density, so we can write it in this way, 1.024 grams, one milliliter in the numerator. So this is just the reciprocal of the density. And if we do that, this gives us the volume of the solution, which turns out to be 104.346 milliliters. And we can just double check that we have proper units because our units of grams cancel grams. Next, we can use the relationship that the concentration capital M is equal to the moles of solute divided by the volume 
of the solution. And this relationship can, can be conveniently uh, rearranged to solve for the moles of solute. is equal to the concentration M times the volume of the solution. So, to get the moles of the solute, we're going to multiply our concentration M, which we had already determined to be 0 0.19154 moles per liter, And then we're going to use the conversion factor, because we have our volume in milliliters and not liters, that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So if we use this conversion factor, this is equivalent to multiplying by the number one, which does not change our thing here. And then the volume is 104.346 milliliters. And just to verify before we even multiply that we have the proper units, we notice that the units of liters cancel, units of milliliters cancel, and we're left with an answer in terms of moles, which is what we want. So we get that we have 0 0.019986 moles of solute. We are now able to solve for the molar mass which is the mass of our solute divided by the number of moles of our solute so we know that the mass is 6.85 grams And we have determined in the previous step that we have 0 0.19986 moles. So we get an answer in terms of grams per moles, which is what we want. And this turns out to be 342.74 grams per mole. But one important thing to notice is that in our data that we're given, that the mass of the water has four significant figures. The density has four significant figures. The osmotic pressure has three significant figures. The temperature has three significant figures. And the mass of the covalent solid has a mass of three significant figures. Therefore, our final answer can have no more than three significant figures. So we round this to three significant figures and we get 343 grams per mole. Now, one thing to point out, having solved the problem, as to the significance of the covalent solid. Um, osmotic pressure is one of the colligative properties, which means that it depends on the number of particles present. Since we have a covalent solid, we know that it's not going to ionize and break up into multiple uh, particles. So each molecule um, of the covalent solid contributes as one particle. If this were an ionic solid, then we would need to determine into how many particular ions the ionic solid uh, broke up when it dissolved in water. But since it's covalent, we have a one-to-one -one relationship. So we have directly that the molar mass of our covalent solid is 343 grams per mole. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.